green wire attaching the battery from the detonator. Okay, I, I'm not seeing a green wire. You're not seeing a green wire? Are you sure? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm looking right now, again, but I do not see a green wire. Do you see a green no, wire? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't see anything. Sorensen, so we don't have a green wire. Now what? <sighs> He's figuring it out. Yeah, listen. You know what? Get out of here, all right? I, I, I can take this myself. We're not going to leave you. It's a one-person job from here on out. You don't know that. You could start... Yes, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. All right, we're going. Listen, there's still time for you, all right? Even if the bomb blows, the CDC, the hospital, they're still working on a treatment. Maybe they'll come up with something in time. Okay, but what about you? What about me? I'm going to ride it out to the end. And you know we don't have time to argue. It's not that I don't empathize with you, Tracy. If I had my druthers, I would put Edward at the top of the list. Monica, your chief of staff, your druthers are the only druthers that matter. I also have to follow federal guidelines. I can't ignore them. Why not? What are they going to do? Take away your medical license posthumously? Oh, I'm sorry, that was insensitive. Oh, yes, it was. But while I'm still breathing, I have to follow rules. Follow this. That serum came out of my blood. I own it. My father gets it. Well, maybe we need to both take Why a don't back. you stay out of this? Monica! Tracy, shut up! I am chief of staff here, and if you don't be quiet, I'm going to have you thrown out of the hospital. No need. I'm gonna go for a walk in the quad. I'll be around if you need me. Could you have been any ruder? I am in the middle of a crisis, Tracy. You and everybody else, including my father, who needs that medicine. Well, it is going to go to a doctor. Oh, oh, now you're going to tell me you're going to give it to yourself. It's going to go to a doctor so they, in turn, can treat patients. With what? That is the only dose. Oh. Monica, if you cannot do it for yourself, then save Daddy for Ellen. <sighs> Daddy, mm -hmm. when am I going to get better? Hopefully very soon. Wallace said too. Is he? Really? Well, then you guys are going to have to help each other feel better together. Are you sick too? A little bit. Daddy? Yes, baby. If we don't get better, will we get to see mommy? I really hope so. Get out of here now. We, we, we gotta skip out of this. Crazy no, you because if Jerry finds out that I'm missing, he's gonna blow up the anti -series. Then Jax is gonna need help. Why does he need help? Is Jax on the boat? Get her out of here. Get her out of here now. What are you gonna do? Stop Jerry! <laughs> you, you can't do that. Jax do that. can't go after Jerry alone you without any weapon. You don't care about Jax. I never said I did! Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come with me. I'll make sure you get the best no, possible no, no, care. No, no, no. I'd be shot on sight. I'd be torn to pieces by the mob. Deservedly so. After what I've done to these people and what I've allowed you and Keenan to do to us. Well, it's a hell of a way to atone, big brother. I'm not interested in atonement. I just want a second chance. Now give me the keys now. Sorry, Jerry. No! You made a serious mistake, little brother. Sorry, Daddy. Uh, I know this is hideously overcrowded, but I really wanted you here with me. You can use this room to rest. Um, but first, I... Uh, I want you to drink this. Where is Tracy? I don't know, Monica. She stole it. 
Stole what? It was in my office, and she took it. She took it to give to Edward. I love you. Whatever you have to tell me, I can wait. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. What the hell have you done? Patrick, my father wants Emma to have this. I, I, I can't accept that. There's, there's protocol. Forget protocol. We're playing by Quartermain rules now, and if a Quartermain steals it, Quartermain owns it, so... I stole it for Daddy, and Daddy wants Emma to have it. Monica. I, I really don't know what you're talking about. I just know that a vial of the antiserum has been misplaced. I'm going to have to file a report if I can ever find the pages and the paperwork and all of that in this mess. Monica. What? You have been a... Uh... Promiscuous social climber. My brother was an idiot to marry, let alone go to that house, but over the years. <laughs> been incredibly good to my father, and I'm very grateful. Are you sure you're not sick, Tracy? Because you're sounding awfully gracious at the moment. Don't stand there. Give her the medicine. is a remote detonator. If I can't get my new life, why should the people of Port Charles? If you leave now, you might be just back in time to kiss your daughter goodbye. Not everyone is as lucky. Just get out. Okay, we're going. Listen, I'm telling you, there's no green wire. There's a red wire and a blue wire. What do I do? That's the best you got? Figure it out for myself? Okay, so I never got a chance to say goodbye. Liam, Daddy loves you. I love you, Natalie. My fiery redhead. Red. What the hell? Why not? How much time? I need to find cover. That wasn't fair, was it? Eh? I beat you because you're weak now. And I'll blow the anti-serum. I'll blow your bloody head off. It's kind of that way, you know? Says you're slow death. Jack, stay down! I don't know how to thank you. It wasn't me. It was my father. I thought I could, um, 
trick him into taking the medicine, but he was one step ahead of me, like always. Can you wave to Mr. Courtney and say thank you? <laughs> that he hates it when I'm emotional. He... He always says there's no reason for sadness. Daddy's had a long life. A good life. A life filled with laughter. Adventure. Happiness. A life filled with love. Good fortune. Not without pain. Loss. Sadness. Or regret. He wouldn't change a thing. And if this is his time, he's going to be reunited with the woman he loves.